right, you spire-loving nerds. Uh, pff, who are they? <laughs> it's time for another daily challenge. Let's see what miracles have been given to me today. A specialized watcher. Okay, that's fun. Uh, controlled chaos isn't really fun on watcher because with watcher I generally prefer to have cards I've picked than randomly draw the watcher's powers, which are the worst powers in the game. Big Game Hunter is fine because Watcher can kill anything provided she doesn't draw into the controlled chaos part of her deck. Okay, the Frozen Eye is actually desirable for Watcher. It means I don't have to waste any money on scrying cards unless I really want to. And I will know what happens when I scry beforehand so I can decide what hand I draw. You know what, now I'm thinking about it. Scrying is quite good with Frozen Eye. Well, excellent. Let's see what I get for my specialized card. I shall never die. There will be there will be no such death. I, I, I'm gonna be fine the whole run. If I ever feel like I'm in the slightest bit of danger, I just press the perseverance button and voila, the danger will go away. Uh, I see four elites, I see a shop. Is there any more chance of getting more than four elites? No, that's a shame because this they're all clustered over there. You might have thought that there were five, but no, it's just four. Those question rooms will hopefully give me something of consequence that I can use against the four elites. But I don't actually need anything of consequence. I have perseverance and I intend to uh, persevere my way to victory. How do I use this then? Uh, the problem with these though is that one of the key traits of Perseverance is that you can redraw it after you've played it the first time. That is not possible in today's run because my deck will never go in a circle unless I undergo some sort of Watcher card draw miracle. The Watcher is not a card draw miracle no matter how hard she tries. Flying Sleeves is better than nothing, I suppose. I like I like it. It synergizes a little bit with my other <coughs> cards. Just a little. Not a lot, but a little. Uh, that seems good. No, it, it wasn't actually good. But I think I'll be fine. Okay, um, there is the card draw I'm after. That's, <laughs> that's Darmaru. I don't know that I'm, this is the kind of run where I have fights take a long time. Oh well, I have five hit points now. <laughs> Good start! If I die here, I will deserve everything. I, I can't see any situation. Why would I? Why would I live after that stupidity? You know what? I'll probably just reset the run if I die here because I haven't done anything yet. Nothing interesting has happened. Nothing interesting is going to happen because I'm just going to die and stupidity will happen. Okay, so empty mind. That lets me defend, which is great. Playing study will do almost nothing for me. Okay. I thought Damaru would do nothing, but I might end up actually using it to defend myself, which is honestly hilarious. Seems to be going well so far.
<laughs> okay. Ne ne on my next turn, for my next trick, I just kill somebody. How about instead for my next trick, I kill everybody? I actually perfected that. <laughs> Surprising. Omniscience is definitely what I want. You are no help. You are less than useless. Let's gain more ability to defend myself while attacking. So that I'm not wasting my time every turn. If every single fight is just going to take hours upon hours, I might as well lean into that. Let's you, let's you and I do an experiment. Oh, good experiment. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Perseverance! Perseverance, everybody! It's like, yes, I will defend you, but also, how would you like to die? Uh, out of curiosity, what if you were to just die instead? Right, uh... I, I've told you that, that I haven't done anything so far in this run. I've only made incredibly stupid choices. So I am going to try again making less stupid choices. How do I make the least stupid choices and accomplish the most unstupid success? I still feel like killing you quickly is the right choice. But maybe I can kill the slimes without ruining my existence. This could be a run for, um, uh, what do you call it? <coughs> so that's eight twice. Uh, establishment, yeah. If I had an establishment, I would be able to do shenanigans with it. Okay, this time I have the gold, but I have 11 health now, which means if the fight goes exactly the same... I'll be able to survive the lack of Ulin fight somehow. It is gonna go exactly the same way, isn't it? Okay, it's not going to go exactly the same way, because I'm going to be a little bit more uh, cautious, I should say. Is, is cautious the right word? Violent. That's one of the words that I could use. By not going into divinity, do I ruin my chances? No, my chances are fine.
And the outcome is almost the same, but I have slightly more hit points for Laravulin now. Okay, so, um... I know it's silly, but if I add Master Reality, I would be able to control the controlled chaos. Did I have that before? Did I get did I get a preserved insect before? Have I shenaniganed my way to victory? Oh no. I hate doing that. Oh I have. I've shenaniganed my way to at least a slightly less dreadful scenario involving the regret. Regret hurts me now, but um I have mastered reality, <laughs> which is something, I suppose. I said the Watcher has the worst powers, but the Watcher also has Master Reality, which is one of the best powers, if not the best power. <coughs> um, lucky. So I could just enter enter divinity whenever I want. Uh, I am gonna have to play some some perseverances to get through this. Just two will do. Oh, and I have a way of uh, getting back the good one. That's pretty cool. Something like a worship. Like an omniscience and omniscience. That's a start. I could omniscience and omniscience and omniscience and an omniscience. That seems pretty damn useful. Um, two rest realities is a bit silly. The sentries seem again. I I am I am at the mercy of my regret. There's my regret. Can I arrange a turn that I don't die playing it? Oh, I don't know that I can. I feel like my actions have consequences. And I am frightened of what those consequences may be. So... Uh, I could play all of those cards. I think. What I need to do... Is play as many perseverances as I can on this. Empty out my hand. Now I have a fair chance of being able to kill this guy. Vault means I'm only having to deal with the nine. And now I have to play Perseverance. Um, yeah. Oh, it's a bit... I could have played Vigilant's Empty Mind. Would I have been able to play enough cards, though? Uh, maybe, but uh, I don't care about little things like that. I'm just, I care about big things, like me dying. Okay. I think I can handle this, but it's really stupid if I can. I think what I have to do is play the miracles later.
I also know exactly what I'm going to draw and when, so there's no cheating with my resetting at this point. It's just imagining that I had made a better choice originally. Yeah, that's exactly right. I still think... Maximizing Perseverance at this point is the right choice. And honestly, the attacks felt really good. Oh, wait. I can just play one miracle. And because I've played Rest of Reality, that's a hecking big miracle that I can save for later. That's pretty cool. I do like that. I mean, and now is later, so I guess we, we live here now. This is a nice reality to live in. It, it fills me with joy, does this one. Can I kill on this turn? Can I both kill on this turn and not die? <sighs> oh, the answer could, the answer may surprise you. I am actually in a worse position, not a better one. But on the bright side, I can kill everyone now. None of these, please. Oh, wait, that's pretty good. I am, uh... Oh, of course, Incense Burner. I have never been more insulted in all my life. Now that's better, though. Establishment is what I want. Um, Shopman, please sell me a waffle. Oh, oh! This used this was a shop before, but now he's the shop, and that was the. Oh, I like it. I don't know what to do, but I like it. I, I could, I could, I could go all in on scrying. I could absolutely take control of my deck in a hilarious way because of Frozen Eye, and just say, I know what I'm gonna draw whenever, and I could do that. I could take Ornamental Fan, but I don't think I need it with the Perseverances. Let's do it. Let's do the silly. I choose the funny man approach, because I am a funny man, and I have made funny decisions, as always. It is quite late. I need to go and cook food. Uh, I woke up really late this morning. Well, I woke up early, but then I stayed in bed. It was traumatic. How dare I do such things? Uh, bronze scales. Going into Hex Ghost with one hit point seems like a bit of a pro gamer strat. That's what we call a <coughs> pro gamer move. What am I drawing next turn? <laughs> Death. Next turn, I just die. Okay, so this is that. This is how throat that I can can work against you. I have. I am now comfortable in the lodge that I have no way through. Hang on, I'm telling a lie. This is the way through. If I'm not weak, I can kill this field of louse. I think. Yeah, it, that works because um, that will do six. This will do five, and that'll do. Yes. The boot, everyone! The boot! It does things! It is a master of... Oh, do I want to prostrate? No, not really. If fights last long enough for me to enter divinity, I've already lost something. So, sash whip. Uh, here I go. Lagavulin, one hit point. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I can do nothing. There's nothing. Uh There's there's nothing. There there's there's nothing. Nothing I can do. Uh 
Oh. <laughs> Even if I'd played all my cards, regret would have killed me by itself. That's fantastic. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I, I don't care. I'll just I'll just abandon this one for, for today. I I'm, I know people did very well, and I'm sure it was lots of fun with those perseverances. But I've already reset once, and I uh, on my honor I will not do it again. I have I have so much washing up and stuff to do as well. So yeah, I will see you another time though, and maybe I'll complete a run.